Solicitor General's office, the AG's office, um, contacted me last week and informed me that the United States authorities were requesting under the Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty, which we have with them, assistance in obtaining documentation that were housed in the Matalan building. And I think it related to uh, a number of companies. Uh, they satisfied me that the request was in order, and the documentation which they had prepared for my signature was in order, and that I should, in fact, sign the um, request authorizing them to provide the assistance. This is required under the treaty which we have, and I had no difficulty in doing that. The extent of that um, request was simply to get access to the documentation, because um, among the information which they provided was that there was at least one of the principals of the companies operating out of the building was in custody in the United States, and they were success suspected of, of being involved in securities fraud. Um, so I signed that, the, the, the request so that they could proceed to um, give access to the um, billing and to the records to the authorities. I think the authorities would have been assisted also by personnel from the United States, whom at the time I, I was invited to assist had not yet arrived in the country. I think they only arrived in the country yesterday or the day before, but I'm not certain about that. Subsequent to that, um, I had to go to San Pedro for a SICA meeting of foreign ministers, and I think while I was there, I was informed that the, the Bahamians who were scheduled to leave the country had in fact been detained at the airport by personnel from the FIU and I think the police department for money laundering um, offenses. And then subsequent to that, after I came back on you know, Monday of this week, I was um, informed that the United States was making a, a request for extradition for, I think, the two Bahamians who had been planning to leave the country, but who had been detained by the FIU and, I think, the police. Uh, when the request for extradition is made, um, once the consuls in the Solicitor General's office are satisfied that it's a proper request, and the, I'm requested to sign that, and I did that. And so, as far as I'm aware now, the next step would be for the people at the Solicitor General's office, once they obtain the necessary information from the United States, will then be able to proceed with that application for extradition. I think an initial application was made to the magistrate court. It might have been Monday or Tuesday. And the proceedings will then follow in the usual course.